Ever wondered why cats seem so mysterious and aloof? Could it be a residue of their rich and varied history? Welcome to our journey through time, where we trace the steps of these captivating creatures from their earliest days to the present. Cats, or Felis Catus, as the scientists would have us call them, are draped in an enigma that stretches back almost 10,000 years. Originating from the Near East, these creatures have woven themselves into the tapestry of human civilization. And their story is as fascinating as it is diverse. In ancient times, cats were wild beasts, prowling and hunting with a deadly precision that captivated our ancestors. The relationship between humans and cats began as a symbiotic one. The cats kept away the pests, and in return they received shelter and food. As centuries rolled by, these wild hunters began to evolve into the domesticated pets we know and love today. But the transition wasn't straightforward. It was a journey filled with reverence and fear, love and loathing, and it is this journey that makes cats such a subject of fascination and curiosity. From the venerated felines of ancient Egypt who were worshipped as gods to the feared and reviled companions of witches during the Middle Ages, cats have seen it all. They have been both adored and abhorred, celebrated and persecuted, but through it all, they have remained an integral part of our world. In more recent times cats have taken on a new role, that of cherished companions. They have become members of our families, sharing our homes and our lives, providing comfort, companionship, and even a touch of mystery that keeps us intrigued. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we will uncover the extraordinary journey of cats from wild predators to cherished companions. So, buckle up cat lovers, as we embark on this feline adventure through time. Our journey begins in ancient Egypt, where cats were revered as gods. In the arid landscapes of ancient Egypt, cats held a place of high esteem and were considered sacred. You see, Egyptians had a profound respect for the natural world, and they saw cats as the embodiment of grace and poise, and as protectors against evil spirits and disease. One of the most significant deities in ancient Egypt was the goddess Bastet, often depicted as a lioness in her early form, and later as a domestic cat. Bastet was the goddess of home, fertility and childbirth, and she was also a warrior goddess when it was necessary to protect the pharaoh and the sun god, Ra. Cats were so closely associated with Bastet that they were often considered physical manifestations of the goddess herself on earth. In every home, from the humblest to the grandest, you would find a cat, not just as a pet, but as a living charm against evil. Egyptians believed that the purring of a cat could keep away evil spirits and bring good luck, such was the reverence for these feline companions that killing a cat even accidentally was considered a grave crime and could carry the death penalty. To further emphasize the sanctity of cats, Egyptians would often mummify them, just like humans, and bury them in family tombs. In fact, in the 19th century, an enormous cat cemetery was discovered in Egypt, containing the mummified remains of hundreds of thousands of cats. In addition, cats were also depicted in numerous pieces of ancient Egyptian art. They were often shown accompanying their human counterparts, or as part of religious rituals, further emphasizing their integral role in society. So, from being worshipped in the temples as incarnations of a goddess, to being cherished companions in homes, cats held a truly unique position in ancient Egyptian culture. They were more than just pets. They were divine beings that were deeply entwined with daily life and religious beliefs. From divine beings in Egypt, cats embarked on a journey that would take them across continents. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, a time when cats found themselves at the center of superstitious beliefs and witchcraft. It's hard to believe, but our feline friends, especially the black ones, were often associated with evil spirits and witches. The image of a witch, hunched over a bubbling cauldron with a black cat at her side, is a stereotype that has its roots in this era. But why cats, you ask? And why particularly black ones? The explanation lies in the mystery and enigma that has always surrounded cats. Their nocturnal nature coupled with their piercing gaze made people of the Middle Ages see cats as creatures of the night, linked to darkness and the supernatural. Black cats with their dark coats blending into the night became symbols of evil and misfortune. The fear and superstition around cats escalated during the witch hunts. Cats, particularly black ones were believed to be witches' familiars, creatures that served their witch masters and carried out their bidding. This led to a cruel and unjust persecution of cats with countless innocent felines falling victim to superstition and fear. This association of cats with witchcraft and evil spirits wasn't just confined to Europe. Across the Atlantic in the New World, pilgrims who settled in what is now the United States shared similar beliefs. 
black cats were seen as the embodiment of the devil, and owning one could lead to accusations of witchcraft. Despite the superstitions, cats were not universally feared or hated. In some cultures, cats were seen as protectors against evil spirits, not collaborators with them. For instance, in Scottish folklore, a black cat's arrival to a home signified prosperity. Reflecting on this period of history, it's fascinating to see how societal fears and superstitions can shape our relationships with animals. This dark period in cat history underscores the complexity of human-feline relationships. But as we'll see in the next part of our journey, cats' fortunes would take a turn for the better, as they began to weave their way into the hearts and homes of people in far-off lands. Meanwhile, in the East, cats were earning a different reputation. In the rich tapestry of the Orient, cats were revered and cherished. The significance of cats in Japanese and Chinese culture is deeply rooted and fascinating. Let's take a stroll down the lanes of history and explore this relationship. In Japan, cats were seen as symbols of good fortune. The most striking symbol is the maneki neko, or the beckoning cat. You might have seen this charming figurine with one paw raised in a beckoning gesture in stores or restaurants. It's not just a cute decoration, it's steeped in cultural significance. Originating in the Edo period, the maneki neko is believed to bring good luck and prosperity to its owner. Even today, it continues to be a popular talisman of fortune in Japan and beyond. But the love for cats in Japan doesn't stop with the maneki neko. Cats were also believed to have protective qualities. It was thought that a cat could scare away evil spirits, making them a welcome presence in many Japanese households. Let's now cross over to China, where cats also hold a special place in people's hearts. In Chinese culture cats are seen as auspicious creatures that bring good luck. This belief stems from ancient times when cats were kept in houses and temples to ward off evil spirits. Cats in China were also associated with wealth and prosperity. The phrase, a cat has nine lives, is a testament to the Chinese belief in the cat's resilience and longevity. This is why many Chinese people still keep cats as pets today, hoping they will bring fortune and happiness to their homes. In ancient Chinese folklore there's a story about a cat who could transform into a beautiful woman. She would marry a human man and bring prosperity to his family. This tale further cements the cat's status as a symbol of fortune and prosperity in Chinese culture. Thus, while cats were feared in the West, they were celebrated in the East. The contrast is as fascinating as it is profound, proving once again that our feline friends have had a diverse and storied past, from one corner of the world to the other. Today, cats hold a special place in our homes and hearts. As we delve into the modern era, we find that cats have slinked their way into becoming one of the most popular pets worldwide, but just how did this happen? Well, it's a tale as fascinating as the creatures themselves. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, cats began to be valued not just for their rodent-catching abilities, but also for their companionship. As urbanization increased, so did the need for pets that could thrive in smaller spaces. Enter the humble house cat, perfectly suited to apartment living, with their low-maintenance care and independent nature. But cats didn't just invade our homes, they also clawed their way into our media and pop culture. Think about it, who hasn't heard of Garfield, the lasagna-loving orange tabby, or the sassy Cheshire cat from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland? And let's not forget about the internet's obsession with feline friends, from the grumpy cat meme to the millions of cute cat videos that go viral every day. Simultaneously, science has been working hard to unravel the mysteries of cat behavior. Why do cats purr? How do they always land on their feet? These questions and more have led to fascinating discoveries about these enigmatic creatures. For instance, did you know that your cat's purr can actually promote healing within their bodies? Or that their incredible balance is due to a unique structure in their inner ear? The more we learn about these intriguing creatures, the more we fall in love with them. It's no wonder that cats have earned a special place in our homes and hearts. They've journeyed with us through history, adapting and evolving, yet always maintaining that air of mystery that makes them so captivating. From gods to witches' companions to symbols of luck and beloved pets, cats have indeed had a remarkable journey. So, what have we learned about the history of cats? We've journeyed from the enigmatic beginnings through the reverence of ancient Egypt, the superstitions of witchcraft, to the cultural significance in Japan and China. We've seen how these fascinating creatures evolved from being worshipped as gods to being vilified as witches' companions, and finally, to being loved as our personal companions. No longer a mystery, the history of cats is a testament to their adaptability, 
and enduring charm. Until next time, keep wondering about the world around you.